And good Monday afternoon. Thanks for being with us today. I'm Tim Seaman. And I'm Jenna Renstrom. There's controversy tonight over Sioux City's plan to build a bridge over railroad tracks in the north part of town. That project would cost taxpayers millions of dollars, and some worry that it could lead to some businesses being forced to move. That's our top story this afternoon. KCA Unite's Rebecca Pryor is live from City Council Chambers, where they'll be voting on that project yet today. Rebecca. That's right, Tim and Jenna. City Council is scheduled to vote on a 500-foot viaduct project tonight. And many local business owners have showed up to speak out against the new proposal. They will likely vo voice their concerns over the city's plan to build a bridge that will shut down 11th and 28th Street, closing access points to businesses along those roads, having many of them consider relocating. And while the new bridge would be convenient for residents, local businesses such as the Food Bank of Siouxland are not looking forward to the consequences they'll have to face. It's a little tough to hear, yeah, um, find yourself a new place and go, and, and so it, it kind of puts everything on tilt a little bit. Obviously, that would take a lot of our time to find the right location, to get it ready for us, to go through the move. Um, we're already stretched with our staff and with our resources, and it would add a major stressor for us. Along with hindering various businesses' access points, the project would also cost taxpayers millions of dollars. However, project proponents say the bridge will eliminate long wait times at current railroad crossings on 11th, 18th, and 28th Street. Coming up at 6, we'll have more from the Food Bank of Siouxland on how that viaduct is going to directly impact their business. Reporting live from Council, Rebecca Pryor, KCAU 9 News. All right, we'll hear from you soon again, Rebecca. Thanks so much. This